Hey there, my lovely Capricorns. About to get a reading for you guys. It's going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest, of course. And if this is not your story, please do not forget to uh, maybe check your um, various placements, okay, for other bits of information. Oh, okay. First card out is the snake competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over his shoulder, the other woman. Soulmates, good grief. Wedding rings. <laughs> and then date. All right. Well, this is starting off a little bit crazy, Capricorn. I think you might have some actual jealous energy around you. Perhaps even someone who's trying to come between you and a connection that you have. Definitely someone viewing you as a uh, competition over here. I, you know what? I just heard something about gossip, too. I'm not sure what that's about. I would just obviously gossip, you know. I feel like people that gossip are bored and broke, right? They just have nothing else going on. It's such an obvious waste of time. So I wouldn't even worry about that. You know, let them talk. It's not going to stop you from doing what you're doing. And I feel like for some reason, whoever I'm talking to has got a lot on the ball right now. Maybe you are just working really hard, achieving your goals. Uh, maybe it has something to do also with it. Maybe you're starting some kind of business or something, whatever it is. I definitely feel like you're shining in some way here. I feel like you have a soulmate either coming in or you have some kind of deep soul connection that is close to you. Somebody who actually may very well want to, um, you may already be, I guess, in union with this person. If not, I feel like they're quickly coming towards you. This feels very fast to me, okay? I don't know what this energy is. I'm wondering for some reason, surely to God, this would not be somebody that you were in some kind of situation with before, relationship with. But for some reason, I'm feeling for a handful of you guys, it could very well be. I can't imagine someone, you know, seeing you as competition in that way, but I, I definitely am getting that. Regardless, it looks like you were moving forward. It looks like you're moving forward towards uh, perhaps meeting new people. It says date here, meeting someone new, obviously getting back out there. And it looks to me like whoever you meet here is going to be very substantial. Okay, you're putting an end to what is not working for you. I believe a past relationship that you had may very well be over. That may be what's going on right here because I'm telling you I was getting gossiping. Um, it clearly says competition here, uh, enemy. I don't think this person is actually your enemy, but they may have a, <laughs> they may have a real big issue with the fact that you are moving forward without them in some way. Yeah, let me see if I can get some more information on this. Interesting. Actually, let me use this smaller deck today. All right, spirit guides and angels. Talk to me about... Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. This has everything to do with you. Whoever this is, you have decided to move away from them. Yeah. If you pulled away from somebody who is behaving in this manner, putting you in competition, perhaps with other people or, or actually just viewing you as competition. Um, if they're, if they did put you in a third party situation, it looks like you have walked away and you're just moving towards brighter days. Okay. You're working very hard on yourself. I just keep getting that. Like there's a lot of jealousy, like you're really working hard. Um, I feel very inclined to tell you not to worry about that. Not, to, not to even think about that stuff. It means nothing. Okay. It's not going to stop you. It's not even going to slow you down. Okay. The way that you're heading, I feel like you're almost like you're being rewarded here because you were finally heading out of this situation and towards your own happiness um, and I heard abundance so and abundance and it looks to me like you very uh, possibly have a brand new love coming in for you so new options for you but you have put some money here in a tower moment okay I feel like this person is not taking it well whatever you put it into down here with this grim reaper okay to this other situation I'm feeling this person is really not happy I feel like there's a lot of anxiety here. I feel it took him by complete surprise. Perhaps they didn't expect you to walk away and certainly didn't expect you. It looks to me like you might have moved away. So some of you guys could have very well moved away. 
Uh, if you didn't move away, like physically move, you definitely moved away from that situation. You took action. You moved forward. That's what I'm getting. But Chariot is definitely a part of movement. But usually when I see Chariot, I usually think of either somebody moving towards you or you physically moving away somewhere. All right. Spirit guides and angels, tell me about the soulmate card for Capricorn. Okay, soulmate card here. We have a Queen of Wands. I have four cards falling on the other side, so I'm not going to take off four Capricorn. So you may be dealing with a fire sign here. You also have uh, you also have Cancer as well. Doesn't have to be. So you're probably dealing with somebody here that's very fiery, very passionate. It could be male or female. It's just an energy. Um, also, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly creative, usually sexy, um, can be very charismatic, a real go-getter. If you've not met this person, maybe this is the person that you are getting ready to meet. Uh, it does say date up here and meeting someone new, so it could very well be someone who comes in and kind of takes you by surprise, same way you did this person. <laughs> All right, what else do we have here on Soulmate? Oh, wow. Capricorn, look at this. You can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles, whoever it is. I feel like this person is going to be abundance. They may actually help you grow your abundance as well. But this, to me, is a card about unity. You know, it's a, a card about two people coming together and having everything that they want, okay? The house, the, the land, the family, um, you know, the money to be able to travel, do the things that they want to. A happy home, you know, communication, love. It's everything. It's a very powerful card. It's a family card. So you may actually be coming into union. Now we're going to clarify here the wedding rings. Um, it could be with a fire sign. Again, it doesn't have to be. We also have a lot of earth here, as you can see. So again, that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah. Wedding rings. Let's clarify. Wedding rings again. Wedding rings, that card is all about soul connections. It's about everlasting love or eternal love. It can also be very well about just getting married, getting engaged for sure. We have Leo energy is here as well. Clarify this wedding rings. Okay. Yeah, wow, look at this Capricorn, man, come on. Whatever you left behind, that was the best decision you could have made because you are definitely moving into some serious happiness here. It looks like you really, you know, and you may have actually walked away from this having to really gather your strength, okay? Um, pull yourself back together and, uh, and, and just make some decisions that may not have been so easy at first. You may have also had to go through your own healing, but what, whatever it is, you cut that off. And you're definitely marching forward, okay? The wedding rings is clarified by the strength card, but also the lover. So Gemini and Leo here. Um, okay, so you're about to have a really beautiful connection. If you don't already, with somebody who you're deeply in love with, you can see that the angel is actually hanging over these two people as they come into union. Okay, it's very beautiful. Right, so it looks like you guys are going to be a very strong couple together. You may very well do things together. And what I mean by that is not just build your legacy over here with this Ten of Pentacles, but you, you may also have some kind of enterprise or, or build some kind of legacy together. All right, date. For date, we have the Queen of Cups coming up. And the Nine of Pentacles. Look at this. So you might have a couple of options. <laughs> you may actually be, have a couple of options. You could very well also be embodying some of these energies of these queens, okay? The Queen of Cups, of course, is very intuitive, kind, loving, uh, very nurturing, all right? She's a good advisor, uh, generally. Um, you know, takes care of people. Like, people usually will come to, to the Queen of, I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups over here, right? Because she's so loving. And her energy really announces that for her. So a lot of people will open up and really confide in this person, so this person may actually be some kind of mentor. They may be a very caring, loving person as well. 
Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, they could be quite independent. They can stand on their own. So in essence, they will be with you because they want to be, not because they need to be, which is great because you don't want somebody that's codependent, right? Yeah, someone who is really built to what they have on their own and is doing well quite by their self, okay? But they want someone to really share that with and they want to be able to give that love out. Um, I heard without games. I'm not sure why that was there, but give their love out within any kind of mental games, okay? I don't think this is a person that you're going to find on, um, you know, like scrolling a bunch of different apps and stuff like that. I just don't get that at all. I think this person is really serious about finding a connection and, and, and getting involved with someone that they can build a long-term connection with here. Have a lot of love together. And let's clarify for me this Grim Reaper card, please. Yeah, whoever this, whoever you put an end to with somebody who may have very well been juggling you, okay, but it could have been someone also who drinks a lot, doesn't have to be, but maybe they overindulge, okay, that could have very well been part of this juggling too, it looks like whoever it was, they were not, um, they just would make a decision in terms of your relationship, okay, um, Definitely feel like this person was overindulging, but you could have also viewed this person as wish fulfillment at one particular time. Uh, but again, with this two of pinnacles here, they just weren't willing to make a decision, okay? They just continued to juggle you, and I think that you just got tired of that and cut it out, dropped the bomb on them, so to speak, with this tower card, and moved away from this. And I, and obviously, as I've already stated before, that's just going to work out for you so well, because look at everything that you have coming in now. It's unbelievable. So what I want to do is just say, Spirit Guides and Angels, what else do we have here for my Capricorns? What else can you tell me about this situation? What can you tell me about this situation for my beautiful Capricorns here? This is so beautiful, Cap. What else can you tell me? For my Capricorns here. I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well. Do I have all the signs? I guess I do. Yeah. Epiphany and a breakthrough. It's due to your epiphany. It's due to you actually putting this behind you and saying, you know what? I'm not going to be treated like that. You're not going to treat me like an option. You're not going to juggle me. Okay. I'm putting my foot down. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to get exactly what I want. I'm going to move towards the soulmate here. Okay, I'm going to get out here and find me someone else. And it's going to lead to long-lasting happiness, it looks like. But it's due to your breakthrough. It's due to the strength that you have shown, the growth that you have shown, the determination that you have shown, that you're actually moving uh, forward towards this. And you're going to get everything that you want. And I apologize, several just came out. Somebody, so if you're not already in communication with somebody, you might, might actually have to travel to see this person. You might meet them while you're traveling. Uh, regardless, I think there's going to be a lot of communication going back and forth with this person, this new person. If you don't already know them, you may already be going through this. I think you're also going to have a, a kinship with them. I think you're really going to feel this connection. It's really important for you to feel valued as, you know, I think most people kind of feel that way, Capricorn. But certainly, I mean, you work very hard. Um, you know, and you want somebody to really care for you as well. And I think you put a lot into relationships as well into building your own stability so you want that in return and i just feel like this person is going to really embody that for you anything else here guys and angels for my capricorn please anything else i'm not going to get any messages today from the moon oracle because i don't think we want to hear from the yeah look we have Divine Feminine here, and then we have Twin Flame. So this might be a very deep connection for you as well. It may even very well end up being a Twin Flame connection. You've got Soulmate up here and Twin Flame. You may have also broken off from a Twin Flame to go towards the Soulmate or vice versa. Whatever it is, it's going to be a very powerful connection for you. I feel like you're going to feel it from the beginning. I see Rebirth here incidentally okay so take it as it resonates a rebirth or a birth it says in the winter where i'm at in the states of course it is winter all right for a little while longer so you may have someone coming in why do i feel like these two cards are connected if you left a twin flame behind or even a soulmate you may very well have someone coming in wanting to have some kind of rebirth for you too this is going to be this person that's in this tower 
okay, because they're feeling like you just walked away and I told you they feel like you left them and you're moving towards someone new and they don't like that. Obviously, it's your choice, but <laughs> definitely looks good to me with, with your new ventures out here, okay? But obviously, you're going to know your situation better than me, Capricorn. Choose wisely, as always. Anything else for Capricorns? I might get some, let's see. Oh, wow, that's way too many. So, yeah, we have a fire, too. So, it's going to be a passionate, brand-new start for you with this ace, okay? Uh, it's the ace of fire here, all right? Same as the ace of wands. So, again, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, all right? But definitely having a passionate new beginning with whoever this is. Um, I think it's going to be very fiery relationships, but very passionate, which I think you like, okay? You guys can have a lot of fun together. And, again, I'm getting the word create, so you may actually be creating something beautiful together. Maybe even a business or some kind of, I don't know, creative venture or something together. I just feel like there's a, there'll be a lot of fire and passion in this relationship. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> And then we have integration and union. Okay, so definitely you're, you are hands down about to go into a new relationship. Whether it's new or it's somebody that you're willing to go back to because somebody's losing their shit over here. Excuse my French. Okay, so they're definitely going to try and come back into your life. But they're doing it because you have finally pushed them to the side, so to speak. Okay, and decided to love yourself more and to begin to march forward and to take care of you. And because of that, now it looks to me like you either have a soulmate or a twin flame. Regardless, you have a very um, significant, significant, hugely significant bond that is coming in for you that's going to lead to union, okay? It's going to lead to actual marriage. So everything looks great with you, Capricorn. Let me see if I can get, I'm going to get a little advice for you because I don't want to pull any message cards just because... Um, I do feel what you have coming in is new, so I don't really want to hear from the person of the past. Um, I'm sorry if some of you are waiting for the person. I just feel like it's not. I mean, we're, it looks to me like the way this is presenting itself, it's like you're actually moving. And yet, Again, the choice is always yours, but obviously like you're moving towards new things, wonderful things. So you're guys an angel. What advice do you have for my Capricorns tonight, please? Capricorn Collective. By the way, guys, this will be timeless. So whenever you guys see it, you are definitely meant to see it at that time, okay? So don't get um, stuck on the dates. Sometimes things will resonate with us a month out, even longer. What advice do we have for my Capricorns? You know, I'm looking at that snake card too, Cap. I got to tell you, I just feel like whoever this person was before, they may have actually had, either they're surrounded with drama or maybe they just had you uh, in some kind of drama. And that's why I was picking up so much gossip around you to begin with. Yeah, look, elephant leadership, can't make it up. I started off the whole reading talking about how you were moving. Um, you know, you were really focused on your stability and just, you know, powering up and moving ahead. And the elephant is all about leadership, taking charge, okay? Building uh, something for yourself, building a lot of stability, all right? And then we have Red Crown Crane, all right? This is all about loyalty. I don't really think that I need to talk to you about loyalty, honestly. But in terms of the advice, I think that... This is what you have wanted. You've wanted somebody who will stand beside you, support you in your efforts, um, be there for you, obviously not juggle you, make you a priority. You've wanted somebody to show you loyalty, okay? And this is what you're getting with that loyalty card right here. It's just, it's basically confirming everything that we already know, right? I think that you're really going to get that in this new relationship because this person's not going to be afraid to show their emotions and they're certainly not going to be juggling you. Let's get one more card from my Capricorns on advice, please. Yep. And then we have the Raven card. The Raven is all about news, okay? The Raven brings messages and news. Uh, and I think this is going to be good news for you. Everything around this is talking about progression here, okay? 
I don't know why I just heard to, okay, so whatever you hear, I think this is going to go back to the gossip. If you find out or you hear about some of this gossip, don't even worry about that. It's not going to be anything that's going to harm you. I think it's just people, uh, perhaps someone connected to this past person could be several people. I'm not really sure, but sometimes, I mean, you know, you're a very successful person, it looks like. All right, people will get jealous of that. If you have a good relationship, people will get jealous of that. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Okay, don't ever let that stop your progress. I don't think that you would do anything like that. But, you know, I always say to people, what people say about me is none of my business. I mean, I could really care less. All right, I'm going to keep moving ahead regardless. And I know that you will too. All right, so I think this Raven card is just letting you know, yeah, you might have messages come in in terms of this or this past situation. Don't worry about it. You've made the right decision. You're marching ahead. What you're going towards now is going to provide you with a lot of stability, a lot of loyalty. Um, clearly, you're moving forward in a leadership role or towards more of a leadership role. Everything here is looking really good for you, okay? And ultimately, it looks like you're going to be in union with someone, okay? Okay, my lovely Capricorns, that is what I have for you guys. Let me get some initials. This may be the initials of you or your person. Take it how it resonates. does not have to be. If it, if it doesn't, if it's not your initials, don't worry about it. If it does, maybe it will help you to just kind of submit the reading a little bit more. I have a B, an E, a C, an A. Oh, I have another C. I have an N. An S, a P, how many did I grab here? <laughs> an M and an E. Okay, my lovely Capricorns, that is what I have for you guys. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you've not already. And I look forward to speaking with you guys the next time. Until then, bye Capricorn.